something and knocked me out. I can see it. Yeah, they knocked me out last night. They beat the crap out of me. Dude, I did nothing to nobody. You're drinking tonight? I'm sorry, no, I have not been Maybe drinking any water really bad. Been doing drugs? No, sir. I'm stressed because they beat me up, dude. I'm trying to get away from this dude. All right, well, medical will see you in just a minute, then you can just have him check your head, all right? Yes, sir. You can be left, Tim. Yes, sir. Come here. No, no, we are in some medical. All right. Look at my head. What happened? Which part? Which part? I don't know. Oh! Yeah, they hit me with something, dude. They hit me. They were doing something to me when I was passed out. That's right. That was it. Oh, man. Sorry. Was anybody else with you? No, sir. I don't know anybody, sir. There's one guy in there, he's coming over. He back. We brought him in. He was down on Fremont Street. And uh, he decided, like, he was not going to cross the street and jaywalk like everybody else was around mm -hmm. him. So he waited for the light to change, we thought. And then when there's a couple seconds left on the uh, the hand, he decided to just dart across the street by himself, about to get hit by a car, so we conducted a stop on him. He decided to try to resist us immediately, so he kept kicking and trying to do things. So ended up finding methamphetamine in his sock. They uh, claim to you that he's hit by anybody tonight? He was claiming that yesterday. He said yesterday he arrived from Utah, uh -huh. and somehow he got himself into a fight and got knocked out. Oh, okay. So he was trying to tell us to look at the side of his face. I didn't see anything on his face, or he wasn't bleeding or anything like that. What's the deal with the guy who's over there crying? He got picked up for jaywalking and uh, found <laughs> meth an issue. Oh, wow. So okay. uh, he's also claiming that he got knocked out, and then the people that knocked him out must have stuck the meth in his shoe. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> How you feeling, man? So they found meth in your shoe, this one with the blister? In the sock. Oh, in the sock? I got knocked out. You got knocked out of your pocket into your sock? No. So forget all that. How long have you been using meth? That's the real question. Dude, I'm not on meth right now. That's why you think I'm on meth, because I'm not on meth. Look at my head. Somebody thumped me. I've never been knocked out, sir. That's why I'm in such disarray. It's weird feeling. Let me tell you something real quick. The oldest trick in the book. Sir, I don't like using that. <laughs> I have to quit using it. Is the Adderall. meth in the sock? I don't know how it got there, trick. Sir, I'm not trying to trick you. I'm trying to pass through Vegas. I come to Vegas. I don't even gamble. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, man. Scoot your feet in. Scoot your feet in. Let this guy go by. You know that meth isn't good for you, right? You know that. Uh, a couple of hits Sir, there's of plenty meth. of doctors that would tell you that methamphetamine is okay for you on a prescription basis. Now I know no, you're still high. Hey, lucky you, you're sitting right next to Albert Einstein. That's enough for me. Joel, come on back here. Come on back over here, sir. We just want to make sure you understand uh, what your charges are going to be, okay? You were getting charged with everything that you did. You obstructed me. You had a pipe on you. You had meth on you. And also, we have to charge you for the reason we stopped you, which is pedestrian failed to obey a walk, don't walk signal. Because you were caught with methamphetamine in your sock, that's why you're being charged here at County. It's a felony, OK? But you are eligible for release on your own recognizance because this is your first felony here in Clark County, all right? Once you get through the booking process here, you're going to be released and you're going to be sent over to the city jail where you're going to face three charges. Well, will I get a warrant on those two charges? No, you won't. That's sure. right. OK? Listen, you're 31, right? You're not 13, right? They're not going to release you so that you can bolt. This is, right. this is not right. your first rodeo. You have multiple arrests out of Utah and California, OK? Very serious stuff. This is minor stuff compared what? to what it was in the past. I'm telling you, you know your way around the legal system, OK? All right, so this is nothing new. It's just in a different city and a different environment, OK? The number one thing you need to understand about Las Vegas, OK, if we tell you to do something, OK, do it, and then we'll explain ourselves afterward. I'll be happy to explain to you the reason why I stopped you and treat you cordially, OK? But if you don't listen to me, OK, we're going to control you. Thank you, sir. Joel, go back to your seat. Yes, sir. Good luck, Joel. Find your seat. Just one felony, and that's going to get released on your own. He just doesn't understand the way it works down here. I mean, it's the no. same way in Utah, where he's from, too. You listen to the police, or you get brought to jail. That's just the way it works. Okay.
Look at me. I want you to sweep the gums all the way up and around. Take your fingers. Just pull them up and around. I don't have anything. In my okay, mouth. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you real Go nice. Ahead. I don't have anything in my mouth. Okay, that's all you had to do. I'm trying to help you out. If you don't Absolutely. have the help, that's fine. Contact for Lincoln. Right. Sit down. Sit down. Did you hit him? No. Right. That was stupid. I know. How are you going to get rid of us? That's a felony. What are you hitting him for? So why were you fighting with that guy? Oh, I know. You don't know? You just wanted to, to fight with him? disagreement. That's all I know. That's what was the disagreement over? I don't know. You just decided to start punching on him? I don't know. Let's take him into Pac-Town. I'm going to call this one. No. I'm going to call TRC. Yeah, they have a single cell. We'll turn the corner, put him up against the wall with the picture. Sorry, there was a mutual 416. Myself and Officer Kaiser broke that up. So the other guy needs to go away as well? Well, I think this was the aggressor yeah. in the whole 416 altercation. Myself and Officer Kaiser witnessed the two guys, you know, resulting in pugilistic advances towards each other until we went over and decided to contain the 416 until adequate backup could arrive. All right, cool, thank you, appreciate it. All right, let's go to TR. I'll investigate what happened, pull some tape. I don't know if they said anything while they were over there, but the guy in the tank top just clearly stood up and started. He's the second guy, right? Yes, the second guy in the gray shirt. What happened there? Oh, man, I was sitting in this chair. He was sitting down there. He got up with two chairs close, and next thing I know, he's swinging on me. I don't know the dude. Never talked to the dude. Never said nothing to the dude. You didn't say anything no, to I'm him? Still, you can look at your video. I'm still at that wall. I said, the whole time I've been here, but I'm not sitting there. So he, he just hopped up out of the chair, yep, trying, to, trying to fight you and you're in your umbilical chains. Yep. You fought back a little bit? No, I didn't touch him. You didn't touch him, bro. All right. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't need another charge. No injuries or nothing, right? No, you're all right? Yeah. I'm not going to get a traffic ticket, man. I mean, why am I going to file on somebody like that? I don't want a traffic ticket. Okay, we'll, we'll handle him and take care of him and uh, appreciate your honesty. I'm still going to pull the tape, make sure your story drives, okay? Right. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. You can have a seat back in the front row. Yeah, it definitely looks like Shane just got up out of his seat and uh, attacked our victim pretty much unprovoked. Good thing they were in belly chains, because if not, it might have been ugly. The other guy wasn't even expecting it. But uh, since the victim had no injuries and his, his story seems to, to match up, we'll probably just send Shane uh, up to disciplinary housing and he can uh, serve some of his time up there. No injuries, we won't add any extra charges to him though. Hey, Shane, I, uh, I pulled the video on what happened out there in, in booking, and you just got up and started wailing on the guy. What was that about? Why'd you do it? You don't know. You just got up and started fighting him? Because he didn't look like he was even talking to you. He didn't fight back. He says he's never seen you before. Bad day, huh? You're just having a bad day? So you wanted to fight somebody? You're in here on traffic warrants, man. OK, well, we're going to have to send you up to disciplinary housing until Either your release comes through, or it's as long as the board says you're going to have to spend up there. All right? Still, just, you don't want to tell me what happened? Just having a bad day? This is pretty much what was in the Okay. All right, sit here and think about it. We'll get you booked in uh, a little later this afternoon. He said he was just having a bad day, so he'll have a hearing with our conduct adjustment board and they'll determine how long he's going to spend up at a disciplinary house. Listen to me. I think the first person to do something like this, I don't think anybody else is crazy enough to do it. I mean, this is new territory. Listen, I've done every drug you can think of, and I have never been affected like this by anything. Wow. What's going on, man? Uh, bro, I drank um, a month's worth of coffee in a day. 
So I don't know what's going on. What they arrested you for? The police arrested me for trespassing and petty larceny. And then they locked me in a cell by myself for 30 days. Justin was in a side cell when I came in this morning. And we went and put another individual in there with him. And immediately, Justin wanted to get into a fight with him. I take him out. It, it seemed to me like he was on drugs. But uh, talking to him, it seems like he's spent the last 40 days in the Henderson jail. Just got transported over here, so I highly doubt he's on drugs. He, he told me he drank uh, 40 days worth of instant coffee. He's been saving up the whole time he was in jail. Seems pretty pretty hyper. So uh, we're going to put him in the, the restraint chair, let him cool down, and maybe have the doctor and the psych nurse talk to him. I'm making history here. You guys are watching history. <laughs> I drank a month's worth of coffee in a day! A month? No, not that! No! Cheers. No. Thank you! Cheers! Hey, can I have some? You don't need any more coffee, Justin. I need some. I mean, I'm gonna come down. I don't know what the come down's gonna be, but I know one thing for sure, two things for certain. It ain't gonna be fun. <laughs> The only people that complain about the police are the criminals and the criminals' families. <laughs> right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Justin's done nearly his two hours in the chair. We're going to take him down to release inside, throw him in a cell by himself, let him cool down in there, maybe burn off some of this energy he got from drinking all that coffee. Hey, can I have a soup? Yeah, but breakfast is coming real soon, or dinner. Oh, okay. Lunch time. I hear that train coming. It's rolling around again. And I ain't seen the sunshine since. Little Johnny Cash. I don't know when. Stuck in CCDC. Where time keeps dragging a lot. I hang my head and cry. Wait, quote the vulture nevermore. Back, back vulture, off my cell door. Did we ever have anybody else in town who got 2186s? We have a sheet. 21 trespasses in North Vegas. Okay, calm down. Listen. My call sign is Blackjack. Listen, Justin, we're going to take you out of this chair. Okay. We're going to put you in this cell. Okay. Don't start kicking or banging in there, because there are only other options to put you back in this chair. Okay? I will not start kicking and banging. I All think right. I might be coming around. They asked me what branch of the military I served in. The tweaker paramilitary. Oh, there you go. Oh. All right, I'll walk into the wall. Hey, I did my two hours well, right? Try to sleep it off. I don't think you're going to sleep for a couple days, but try to sleep it off. 45 days worth of instant coffee. What shot? All I need is one shot of coffee. I drink medicine coffee. How you feeling? Uh, well, I... Coffee wore off a little bit? Yeah, you know, I don't believe I'm under the influence of the coffee anymore. You know, I'm just going to stay away from the Colombian horse. I do methamphetamine on a daily basis. I, I, I go through an eight ball a day. When's so, the last time you did meth? Meth? Whoa, whoa, 30 days ago. I've been in Henderson, remember? 30 days. Right. But I know one thing's for sure, two things for sure. I can't handle the coffee. Apparently not. Okay, I can handle the crystal meth. Woo. Because if you say I, so. No, listen to me. I'm always on crystal meth. No one's ever seen me sober. The Blue Mule, the Blue Mule Saloon, they kicked me out because my girlfriend, Angel, tried to have me killed. The Blue Mule's like, no, you're out of here, you no good tweaker. They're like, you're cool when you're sober. I'm like, whoa, cool when I'm sober. You've never seen me sober. You got to stop using that meth, man. Oh, no, I don't. Stop, I the stop the coffee. Stop drinking the coffee. Stop drinking the no, coffee. No, no. Stop the stop meth. Stop drinking the coffee. The meth's fine. Stay out of jail. I don't know what the coffee's done. Okay, but the meth's right. fine. The meth I can handle. I do my meth and I go to my slot machine. Okay, I do my coffee and I'm cracking. Well, stay off that coffee then, Justin. No, stay off stay the in coffee. here and we'll uh, we'll let you calm down a little more. Wait. Justin, lay off the coffee. I'm not going to buy no more coffee. No, no Anyone would think he's probably high on some illegal drugs, but I confirmed it. He was in the Henderson jail for the last 30 days, so he really is just high on coffee. We'll reevaluate him a little later today. Back to strange of the picture. I'm really just high on coffee.
have it blue or red? No. Only uh, that camel orange color. Oh. Whatever you want to call it. Camel orange. Hey, you want to know where your car went? North Las Vegas. Are you really gonna drop me right here? It went to North Las Vegas. It's just a car. Yeah. So how do you, how do you get tickets to the fight? Well, you said you lost those tickets or something stolen from you. Well, that's from a long time ago. It's uh, I just bought a uh, 2015 one of two Toyota Prius. Forty-eight thousand dollars. One off. Signing for your watch and stuff, sir. Wow, that's expensive Toyota Prius. Well, they're not cheap, but they're pretty badass. Right, yeah. Um, where? Right. I mean, you went from a Prius to a Corvette Stingray. That's a I did job. not go from anything. My Prius is still my Prius. OK. You know, and I still have my Corvette. They're just cars. We're going to see the nurse. Boy. We good, sir, oh, for to see right. the nurse? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, Richard, let's Thank go see the nurse today, okay, sir. Have a seat in the blue chair, sir. The one with the beautiful right duct tape? Yes, sir. So one misdemeanor charge you're being charged with is going to be active physical control of your Corvette while under the influence of controlled substances, oh, well. which cause you to drive reckless in the mall. And the reason that would be is the man that called in yeah. that you almost ran over, you were doing the donuts in the parking lot, he called and complained about you. I know. That's why you're getting charged with DUI. It's not going to be a DUI. I won't get a DUI. Oh, all right, wait a step for me. Walk out this way. You're gonna come right over here, and right where the number two is, have a seat right there, and just wait for the nurse, and she'll be just a few minutes. Numero dos. Hey, Officer Lathrop, how are you doing? What's going on with Richard today? We got a call today over at the uh, Boulevard Mall of a gentleman in a white Corvette doing donuts in the parking lot. He almost ran a pedestrian over. Oh. I went over and uh, met up with Richard. Told me he was really upset. He was at the casino last night uh, with some uh, friends that he met doing some uh, cocaine, and uh, they robbed him. He actually had four floor seats, and these people uh, gave him drugs, helped him get high, and then stole, stole these floor stuff. seats. Subsequently, we ended up arresting him for uh, DUI and reckless driving. Hopefully, he's going to be cooperative for you up here, but uh, there's a few distractions in the jail that are kind of causing him yeah, issues. Yeah, we're pretty full today. I'm a criminal. They're cops. I run, they chase. Well, then stop being a criminal. Why? Well, then keep getting chased. Pretty Figure much. it out. It's SOS. <laughs> What's it mean? Same old all the time. No. SOS. Stuck on stupid. Definition of insanity is doing the same over and over and over and over again and expecting different results. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. I got kids that don't know I do drugs. I got houses that pay for themselves and they pay for my kids. So the only thing I missed out Why are you proud of that? Why are you proud of your kids not knowing you do drugs? What's to be proud of that? You shouldn't do it. shouldn't know. You shouldn't do drugs. Yeah, you should. Oh. I'm one of those people. You have no idea. Yeah, yeah you're one whole... of those. And do they do drugs? Not that I know. Not that you know. Why do you not know? Because you're too busy in here? I'm not always in here, bro. It sounded like you just said you were. Stop being so stupid. Gosh, dude, you're just yell, stupid. I'm right here. Because I'm passionate, because I've lost my family for 31 years married. And you're an idiot. Mr. Richard. Yes. Mr. Richard, you're going to have to calm that down. You I'm sorry. I just. Out here, I, I'm going to need you to tone it down. OK, I'll shut up. Use your inside voice to I, calm down. You understand what I'm saying? I understand. You had a bad hit. I have some. Don't talk to me, please. Don't talk to me. This is for your name. When they call you, you're going to go over there and we're off. Call body. What are you here for? If you've never been in trouble and this is your first DUI, they'll probably give you what's called an OR. They're going to let you out of here on your own. So hopefully you'll get to see the fight tonight. Well, I don't, you, you don't have tickets, right? I heard you had tickets. I did. But now you don't. Yeah. You don't need to tell it me a story. Matter. That's okay. It's yeah, okay. It I, I, I don't really need to tell a story. That's fine. Because God hasn't let me down yet. Okay. At all. So, okay. All right. Come on this way. Okay. We'll get you straightened out here. This is open book, and this will be the next phase, okay? <coughs> Someone from the court will talk to you, and the person from the court, someone is probably going to get the details to get you out of here. I'll get to it. Okay. You know, it's all good. So, well, good luck. I don't need right. luck, but thanks. Okay, just go, so, then. No luck for you. Go. Go. Okay, just run. Off you go. Off you go. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> That's a unique individual there. 
Hopefully you get to know our, so we'll see how it goes. It'll be based on his charges.